IIT KGP and today we are going to start our AI journey with the basics of machine learning. So first of all I would like to introduce you to what is actually machine learning to a PowerPoint presentation and then I will tell you about an amazing website where you can actually deploy your, uh, your AI models, you can learn from the scratch Python and do whatever, you can put, take up codes, AI codes from GitHub and then uh, experience experiment with it uh, in that platform and you can do many other things and then I am going to teach you about the basics of Python and then I am going to provide you some notes uh, on Python uh, which I have created and which would be useful in the AI learning of Python and not everything you need not be an expertise in Python but you need to learn all the basics and you need to know everything right uh, about the basics and you should be able to be clear with each and every concept of the basics so let, without any delay let us start with what is actually machine learning so here I have come to the screen sharing mode so let's start quickly so what exactly is machine learning basically one step if I say it is basically y equals to fx in a, and nothing else what do I exactly mean by this in other words it is the ability of a machine to learn and predict we would provide a set of learning values on the basis of our provided data set it would try to find a relation such that y equals to fx more we provide the learning data more accurate will be the predicted output see we have in our real life a variety of data we first collect a specific type of data all data type must be of the same format and feed it to a machine learning algorithm that algorithm will try to now find a relation between x and y x is our provided data y is also our provided data which and the machine will just see and find the relation between x and y on the basis of that it will create a function such that y is equals to fx this is the key point behind machine learning so let us understand the approach we have a problem at hand first with training data then we train the ml algorithms and then we evaluate if there is a high accuracy we use it for production directly and there is a low accuracy we can go to the previous step again again train the algorithms along with the errors and then again evaluate and so on so let us understand it with an example uh, see i'm not telling that always uh, like height and weight will be related like this for understanding purpose i have created the table uh, which says that 5.3 feet person weighs 50 kg, 5.4 feet weigh person weighs 60 kg and so on. So from a typical ML algorithm you can expect to get the weight of 6.1 feet person. Note, it was just an example like the high, you, you cannot be very accurate with such a low data set. So what do I actually mean to say, say with this example? More the training data better the machine can predict. I have only five values of training data of X and Y on the basis of that the machine will try to predict the relation between X and Y and it will also find what will be the corresponding value of weight for height 6.1 feet. So what actually is derived from the previous slide is shown here more data helps enhance the AI product even further. Then we create an AI product, a good AI product finds more user example Netflix like for example you next Netflix you watched a movie which is horror. Next second time you watch another movie which is horror. Then you will find that the movie recommendation suggests you at the top it will be always horror showing to you. More specifically if you find always used to watch more horror plus adventures then you will find horror plus adventurous only more recommendation on the basis of this so a good AI product now what are the other competitors of Netflix what do what is the difference between them can't they predict like that so there there is a degree of accuracy always the more the degree of accuracy the better it will be the AI product more users generate more data of course, if your AI product is more popular, you will find it more, find, find more users and more users will generate much more amount of data and more data will again 
help enhance the AI product even further. So what was the main key point here? The data is the oil of the 21st century, definitely. You, you, uh, your growth rate is always exponential here because the more uh, popular you are, you get more users and more users mean more data and more data actually means more, more better your, your AI product will become. So let us see here some cool applications like stock market value predictor. A deep learning model a model of neural networks is generally used here most uh, actually deep learning is the extension of machine learning where uh, where it is like a deep neural networks are used there uh, and the neurons of a person are it is I mean uh, the concept of deep learning is evolved from the neurons of a person uh, the there are artificial neurons there which I will explain after completing the entire thing of machine learning uh, and it can also predict the future position of an asteroid, predicting rocket movement, driverless cars, and many, many more. So let us introduce Python now. It is the smartest and the most user-friendly programming language. It has a lot of inbuilt libraries compared to other languages. It is primarily used to build AI, ML, and DL models, but it is the slowest programming language. Definitely, it is. It is at least 40 to 50 times slower if i write a normal amount of code normal uh, not much like uh, if i write 15 lines of code in this 15 lines of code it will execute 40 to 50 times slower than c c plus plus language this is the only disadvantage and it is much more user friendly so let us understand programming some basic programming terms i have written here i am assuming you know nothing that is why i have uh, done this and if if you can uh, you can do fast forward uh, the video if you know all the basic terms so we will we write the code on python 3 id or jupyter notebook or anaconda navigator the compiler compiles and produ produces our, our output which is visible on the terminal the errors generally occur during the compile time or the runtime the process of finding errors is called debugging the characters which reserve meaning in language are called keywords every literal has an ascii value and uh, Variables and constants have the same means. Variables means something which is not fixed and constants is fixed. That's the same meaning as your basic algebra knowledge. And integer list, strings, boolean, dictionary. I am going to explain in the next slide this. And if you did not understand any uh, key main words from here, uh, you can search those in the next. These are very basic terms of programming. If you know other programming language, any other programming language, you, you will be knowing you, these terms already. So, uh, for if we compare with C language, we find uh, first we have to import a library for uh, printing, right? To start writing our program. But in Python, we don't need to do anything. We can straight away write our code. Just start writing the code and click on run. It will compile. Uh, the hashtag is the symbol for si uh, single line comment. And this is the multi line comment as I shown. Now in other programming language, as you know that integer by integer equals to integer. So 5 by 2 equals to 2. But in Python, it is not like that it is a bit more realistic it is 2.5 only and as i told you it is more user friendly to use and so here, here a is a string hello a equals to hello and then uh, a, this is a list which i showed uh, purposely like this so that you understand that like that if you know other programming languages you will be really knowing that uh, like c does not uh, support so much dynamic characters in the list in the there, there there is no list in c actually it is known as array there so the arrays support a single data type only but that is not the case in python and you you, you can mute it is mutable also in python uh, which is not the true in ca uh, true case uh, in case of c language also the, the tuple which is uh, immutable is the same functions as list almost just is immutable and uh, this uh, dictionary uh, stores values in the form of comma separated values and they are a uh, key comma uh, key colon values form so now you can simply search uh, python 3 notepad in the uh, search bar of your google chrome and then you can download python notepad and now i am going to show you an amazing website of cellstrat hub more operations and basic stuff of python are already available on cellstrat uh, you can uh, explore more on the website and complete reading them and uh, numpy panda arrays, uh, arrays and like libraries are the must for AI uh, you must learn it from there 
and uh, ask your, your doubts also in your comment section and all and in my next video i will be covering an Nan umpire and panda libraries you can leave out on oops main part but basics you must do that too and i will share the notes about most terms about of python in my next video uh, so as of now let us go to the cellstrat hub website and let's see exactly what it is so this is what you will see when you will browse cellstrathub.com and uh, i am clicking on sign in but you must click on sign up and complete the procedure first let me uh, get into my account and show what exactly it is i have directly uh, have been logged in into my account you have to put your uh, username and password also but i was logged in from earlier now you have to click on add more packs i have already added mine you have to click on add more packs and use uh, python here i have already added these three you, you just do this this much no need to add other packs uh, the other packs i will tell you when to uh, when you need you can also download but the uh, problem is you won't be able to understand without a prior knowledge of machine learning and deep learning those packs you can uh, get the python pack here and you can start workspace here it typically takes two to three minutes to start so the workspace is started now i click on launch jupyter lab and then here you can see the basics of python are also there many things are explained here you can i am expecting you to complete all of this and I will also explain uh, in my next video about this NumPy, pa NumPy Panda and uh, some of the other important stuffs away from here. I will be explaining it through my notes. And here you can like uh, click here for the run and if you uh, find something on GitHub which you want to explore here you can upload files from here. And this is the Jupyter Notepad so to run one P block of code you need to press shift plus enter you can also press this by the way so that's all so that's all yeah from today's video and hope you enjoyed it and now from next next video will be again on python tutorial i will tell you some more uh, things about pythons and by then I would, I would expect you that uh, you would uh, do what I told you in the Cell Strat Hub website. Uh, this uh, maybe after one or two weeks I will be uploading the next video so by then uh, you must discover everything uh, on the Cell Strat Hub website. Till then take care bye bye.